everyone welcome to the channel non star continuous knowledge excellence my name is karuna singh so in this video we will get to know about what is calorimetric sensor so now our expert professor himadri bibo hidar who is associated with national center in agro nanotechnology terry dyker nanotechnology center india he has 31 years of academic experience in teaching and research His area of expertise includes nanoscience and nanotechnology, nanobio interface science, soft matter science, polymer physics, biophysics. We'll explain you in detail about this topic. So to get complete information, watch full video without skip. First of all, what is a colorimetric sensor? Colorimet colorimetric word has been derived from the word color, and we are all familiar with color. Color is there in everyday life. and the idea is can we sense different analytes of our target of our desire through naked eye not using any instrument be it a cancer biomarker be it a heavy metal be it a pesticide food pathogen or any microbial species so this cartoon in fact tries to say the same thing we have this jumble in the beginning in the center here which is actually the analyte we want to see and there are many ways of looking at this analyte okay for this inst for instance a organic chemical is compound is shown here i would like to detect this compound i can do it many by many different ways you can do a roman spectroscopy on this thing you can do a nmr study on this thing you can do all ftir on this there are many other ways of doing it HPLC also helps sometimes if you have some indication of what you have in the sample. Wait, wait, wait! Are you worried about your project, training, dissertation, internship? Don't think too much because Nano Science and Technology Consortium, in short NSTC, is giving you a golden opportunity to do the same tasks. NSTC also conducts workshop on amazing topics. So if you want to register in the workshop. The registration link is given in the description box below, or you may go to the website www.nanoschool.in, where you can easily enroll in the workshops. So just check it out right now. So basically, splitting this analyte into four different parts and trying to look at the footprints of each of these parts, and then we intelligently join all these four to create the analyte. identity this is the entire thing that we are going to do and that is going to the focus of this workshop in the next 3 days starting from today okay now assuming that we have a broad based audience many of them are students with very little background in nano science or in fact in optics in general i will try to keep today's presentation at a very tutorial level so that you are with me when i am doing the presentation there should not be any ambiguity or uh, communication gap during the presentation today so today's idea is to build the platform and tomorrow we'll see the examples day after tomorrow we'll see more examples of those okay first is the perception of colors colors as we know are there in everyday life and is there everywhere we live live in a colorful world everything has color now when it comes to perception of colors it varies for instance this is two illustrations are given here a color catalog is produced here which you can see various colors are identified here with their shades and A woman is identifying these colors, and a man is identifying the colors on the other side. Now, the data shows that the cognitive power for recognition of colors in women is far more, is far better than in men. Men can identify the broad colors: red, blue, green, pink, yellow, blue. This they can identify, but within the yellow itself. you you will for instance will have a lemon yellow and that is a yellow within the orange itself there is a melon orange and there is orange so these finer distinctions are less perceptible to men 
go a step further. If you compare the perception, color perception of an artist, painter, he can even fine tune it better. Within this broad group, you can again find various distinct, distinctive sub colors in there. So the entire thing now reduces to perception of colors, how we see colors or how good we are at recognizing colors. So once that is clarified, then the rest of the things is very easy because as I have said in the beginning, the idea is to create a nanotechnology platform where the analytes will be interacted with the nanomaterials to produce a color. And the color one has to identify without ambiguity. From there, one can get information about the analyte. So it's basically the correlation between the color perception and the analyte detection. That's what it is. I hope you like this video. Here, I would like to give you an important information that Nano Science and Technology Consortium organized the nanotechnology workshops on amazing topics. Also, I would like to tell you about the initiatives of NSTC in which you can also be a part of. The very first one is mentorship, second, patent commercialization, third, joint product development, fourth, research projects, fifth, consultancy services, sixth, nanomaterials for your research projects, seventh, training programs or customized training programs, eighth, workshops or customized workshops. So that's all. If you want to see these type of videos, then please do comment. We will definitely reach out to you. Subscribe to the channel Knowledge Star and hit the bell icon to never ever miss an update. Thank you. For more updates, subscribe to our channel. Click the links shown on the screen to stay connected.